Hello world, UB here, and today we're going to revamp a old costume that I made for last year's Halloween. Of course, last year's Halloween didn't really happen, but I did get to kind of test out the costume itself, and it has some things that need tweaking. I also got a very impromptu invitation to go to the local renaissance fair this weekend, so this is going to be the costume that I wear to the Ren Fair. So, the big things that we need to repair here include the fact that this joint just came out of its socket. All of the other joints stayed intact though, which is really cool. And the other leg is fine, it's just this one. Now, I designed these feet so that this is actually a separate part from the leg, and that way I could take this off and replace it with a paw or a claw foot or something like that so that this could be used for many different types of costumes. But since I'm gonna be sticking with the fawn hoof, I want to just upgrade this part of the costume and kind of go from there. Now, what I had going on before is this is just a foam hoof and it's got a cardboard and foam bottom here that you can see came off very easily. And then I actually just tied my feet into the inside of the hoof here. And instead what I wanna do is make an actual booty that will withstand the roughness of an outdoor setting. And I bought all of the materials for it already this morning off of the clearance aisle at Joann's. So with that being said, let's get actually working on it. So getting started on this project, basically I just took the fur off of the joint that I was talking about and reached inside and made sure to make the elastic that I had inside the joint a little bit stronger. But while I was in there, I also realized that the bone that I stuck through the um, foam inside of there actually came loose, so I had to make sure to repair that as well. And moving on, I first decided to make those booties that I was talking about with you, and I wasn't super technical about how I did this, and I should have been more technical. Um, as you can see here, I'm kind of playing around with pieces and having to put in extra so that my foot would actually fit inside and all this good stuff. But I started with the base of a pair of ballet flats that I have and just kind of traced around them, tried to give as much seam allowance space as I could. And I still had to add more fabric into the actual ankles in order to fit my foot in, but I made sure that as I was pinning and sewing and everything that I was trying it on repeatedly throughout the different stages so that I knew where I wasn't going to be able to use it, where I needed to put more in, etc. And you'll see me doing a lot of that with this particular project because it's not anything that really has a pattern out there in the world and maybe I should buy a booty pattern in the future but this actually ended up working out fairly well. The only thing that I really really didn't like was that when I put the hooves on for the first time and started walking into the Ren Fair, my right hand booty was a little too big, so it was trying to slip off of my foot, and that didn't help me at all. As a result, I actually had it rubbing against my leg really badly, and I'm still healing from the scab on there. So. Um, when it comes to foot projects like this, make sure that you're being a little more technical than I was being, especially because like your feet are something that need to be taken care of a whole lot. So do as I say, not as I do. This is a learning channel, not so much a how-to or DIY channel, so I'm not going to pretend that the way I do things are the best ways, but um, definitely there are things that can be improved in this project, and I'm gonna let you know them before you jump into doing something similar and and hurt yourself or make big mistakes or what have you. Here you can actually see that I'm trying to put in little elastic um, like shoelaces, basically, 
And this was a mistake. I took them out of this boot afterwards because they didn't actually lend any fit to the booty, and I ended up putting a piece of elastic around the uh, space where my ankle would go instead. And that seemed to work out a little bit better, but realistically, the effort that it took to put in these elastic shoelaces was not worth it by any means. It didn't provide very much support at all, if any. So once I had the booties together, I took the cutout of the ballet flat that I made and just traced around it on some EVA foam. And I ended up putting this EVA foam inside of the booties so that there was a little bit of a barrier between my foot and the gravel roads that I'd be stepping on in the Ren Fair. This actually worked out pretty good. I wasn't super uncomfortable throughout the day, and I didn't actually wear these a long time, but it did help a little bit. I would honestly suggest just using a pair of boots if you have one in order to do this, because this was a lot of effort and they weren't super comfortable at the end. But um, this actually worked out relatively well for what I did with it, because the EVA foam went inside of the booties so that um, my foot was in contact with the foam. And then the extra piece that I cut out that was traced around my ballet flats actually went on the bottom of the hoof. And moving on, while that shoe goo dried inside of the booties, I went ahead and took the actual hooves and took the bottoms off of them and then started filling them in with upholstery foam. And this is foam that I actually used to bulk out the muscles on the actual legs, so I had a lot of leftover in my closet. And so I just made it into little pieces and very carefully hot glued them inside. And then I actually put some socks inside of the booties once they dried, and I was able to kind of put those booties into the space that I left in the upholstery foam and hot glue the booties into the actual hooves themselves. And that's where I kind of wrapped them up so that they could dry and solidify inside of the, the hooves and be nice and tight. And so you see me going back to the first hoof and making sure to put more hot glue in so that it all stayed together and I would eventually use some shoe glue as well to keep everything inside. And then I'm taking my EVA foam and just cutting out a piece to go on the bottom of the hooves and this is what the hoof makeover ended up looking like. This is my little screen test. And one of the other things that I needed to take a closer look at was that the bone that I was talking about earlier that came out of the foam in the ankle of my right side actually elongated that part of the leg. So I had to go back in there, do a little more surgery, use a lot of duct tape, and basically make it so that that was not as long, so that it wasn't flopping all over the place. But it looked really good. And the only thing that I really wanted to update after this was making sure that the pants were a lot bigger than what I had because the uh, I don't know how to say this PG, but the crotch situation on this costume was not my favorite thing in the world. I even tried to put on a hip skirt or a, a hip scarf in order to kind of hide it, and it just nothing was looking good. So I decided to go back to Goodwill and see if I could find a very large pair of pants or a skirt or something to try and make some pants that would actually go around my physical thighs as well as the thighs on the legs, the, the costume legs. And so that's what I did. I found a really cute, um, very large skirt and I brought it home and I basically took a pair of my own pants and 
made the measurements on it wider and used that same shape in order to sew them into pants, and I added a whole bunch of length on the legs with some white fabric that I had in my closet, and I didn't get any filming of that because I was in such a rush to get it done for the Ren Fair. But um, basically I rolled up that white extra fabric into the legs and it looked pretty good. It wasn't entirely as technical as I would have liked it, but notes for version two. And here you can see that I'm taking pieces of the EVA foam that I still had and I'm putting them on the front of the hooves because I put a layer of black fabric underneath the hooves to kind of protect that layer of foam that I put on the bottom. And then I wanted to kind of hide those seams, so I put little bits of the EVA foam on there and then used my X-Acto blade in order to sort of sculpt and create some texture and all of that good stuff. And so I got a whole bunch of footage of that just trying to make it seem like they weren't multiple different surfaces on the hoof because as much as it would have been fun to have kind of jewelry on the hooves, it wasn't exactly the avenue I was trying to go for. So instead I took my X-Acto knife and I tried to kind of shave off the edges of the EVA foam that I just put on the hooves and try and make it a little bit more seamless. It was only semi-successful, but then I was able to take my heat gun and open up the, the little texture that I put into the different foams as well, kind of like what I did on the tree. So that basically just melts the foam and opens up those seams that I made with the X-Acto knife, and it looked really good. Here you can see some progress shots, and after that I took these bad boys outside and made sure to give them a spray with a black spray paint. And then I also put a whole bunch of Flex Seal on them because I knew they'd be taking a beating at the Ren Fair. And this is the end result. And I was really, really happy with them. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't wear them for more than an hour and a half or so because they actually were rubbing my, my ankle raw because they weren't fitted the way that they should have been, and that's definitely something that I will improve on version 2 whenever version 2 happens. And I also got to meet a Jester cosplayer at the Ren Fair. I had an absolute hoot, and it was so great. So thank you to all of my friends who invited me, uh, Arcandio, Fluffy Snowfall, and all of you guys are just amazing, and I was so happy to be a part of that for the day. And I got to take so many pictures with so many people. It was an absolute hoot. And this makeover of these legs cost me around $50, maybe a little less. And the legs themselves originally were around $100 in materials. I personally feel like I got my money's worth out of all of the pictures that I got to take and the oohs and ahs. And there were a couple of kids that were like, Mom, look, it's a reindeer. And so I felt like I got my money's worth and my time's worth out of this costume. However, I'm not going to wear it again. My ankle is still healing and I'm not up for torturing myself. So with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And hopefully in the future, I will have the time and resources to make a full tutorial of how to make legs like these. Until then, thank you so much for viewing and getting to the end of the video. Here's 1,000 experience points just for that because you're a very cool person. And don't forget to drink some water today. Thank you to all my patrons, and I will talk to you guys next week. Peace!